Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to All Things Paris. I look like this because I finally get to put heat on my hair tomorrow. It'll be exactly one year that I've been with no heat. I haven't dyed my hair, I haven't blow dried my hair, and I haven't flat ironed my hair in a year. So, right now, I just have coconut oil and conditioner sitting on my hair. My hair is drenching. So, and I'm doing this as a pre poo before I shampoo and wash my hair with conditioner. So, just to make sure my hair is extra protected for tomorrow when I flat iron my hair. So, but tonight is currently, what day is it? It's currently September 27th, and it is 10.47 at night. So, I am going to. After I wash my hair and everything, I'm going to flexi rob my hair because I'm not going to blow dry it because I don't want to shock my hair with too much heat because I haven't put anything on it in a year. So I'm going to flexi rod it to get it stretched as you know good as possible and let it dry overnight. And then I'm going to, in the morning, flat iron my hair. But I just wanted to show how bouncy my hair is. Like, as you can see, like it's just light and... The curls are so beautiful, so I wanted to do this video just in case anyone was thinking about going a year with no heat, seeing what type of, you know, result that they may get from, you know, them going with no heat on their hair, so... My hair is way fuller than when it used to be. My hair used to be super thin, it's completely fuller. My curl pattern is way better. My hair is just overall more healthy. And it's really hard going a year without heat and things like that. I didn't put heat on my hair a lot at all before I decided to do this. I decided to go a year with no heat because I wanted my curl pattern to be better. And I just wanted the overall health of my hair to be A1. So that's why I decided to go a year. But... I mean, it was completely worth it. I would do it all over again. And it's really um, not too much that I could do because to my hair because I don't really know how to do my own hair like that at all. So I was kind of repetitive with my hairstyles. But listen, get you a nice protective style, you know, whether it's a sew-in or braids or twist or doing something to your hair, your own natural hair. If you're good at doing hair, whatever works for you, it's completely worth it. My hair, I should have shown it beforehand, but I didn't think about it until just now. But I should have shown like my hair length when it was dry. Like my hair... I'm telling you, it's complete different. Like, this right here, I'm going to show you just the edge of my hair. Like, this little piece that be right here by your ear, look how long this is. Like, my hair, like, I'm telling you, is a complete 360. I can't believe the results that I got. It was it was worth every single day of that year. So I can't wait to flat iron it. And I'll be back with the results when I do flat iron it tomorrow. So peace.